EA Sports coverage of the NFL International Series brings us across the pond. We're in North London and the impressive Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Davis now to return it. And he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. Rodgers going to put it up to get started. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. The master of play action, Rodgers. A throw left side taken in by Wilson. That's a pickup of 17, and the Jets have a first down. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about, so they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistaking who it is. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. From the shotgun, it's a -Rob. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. A tough spot here. Third and long. From the gun, Rodgers. That one's a poorly. He's got it. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do generate some early chunk plays, and try to get some points. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. Mark down at the six. Here's second and goal. A run here with the Bonaconda. A lot of room to work there. Well played by the... And they set themselves up for third and goal. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there, and now it's fourth and goal. Teams practice these situations all week long, Mike. Down here in the tight red zone, you find yourself inside the 10-yard line. You're thinking, we've got to come away with a touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal, but I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. To return, it's Brandon Powell. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Man who traded green and gold for Viking purple. It's Aaron Jones. 
And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Play fake to Jones, and now Darnold. He'll check this down to the running back. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. Just nowhere to go once he catches this ball. You see, he's doing everything in his power to make guys miss and break tackles. I think he ended up doing a little bit too much because he ends up going backwards. Third and short yardage, and here's Darnold. He's got his man. It's Jefferson. A gain there of 23 yards. First down, Minnesota. And it doesn't really matter who you put on him, Mike. When you want to play one-on-one -on -one man coverage against a receiver like this, there's not a whole lot else you can do. It's hard to put help over the top because the ball's being thrown out by the sidelines. I like playing in and out. I like playing zone. Somebody underneath, somebody over the top. Share the responsibility. But that's not what they're doing. That's straight man coverage. Quarterback sees the matchup. There's no question where the ball's going to go. That's a gain of 16. This offense is humming. A first down. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. This is Joe. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. And after parting ways with the Packers, Jones kind of surprised some by staying in the NFC North. He signs with Minnesota, and he joins an offense that is loaded with talented skill players. So if he can continue to be the playmaker he's been throughout his career, they've got themselves a nice young group here in Minnesota, especially on the offensive side of the ball. This is caught at the two. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. A dive, and he's in. Aaron Jones. Touchdown, Vikings. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away set to return is Xavier Gibson he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start the Jets offense going to take over now for the second time the trail by four a touchdown gives him the lead drive begins with first and ten Throwing, Rodgers. A throw on the run is complete. Here's second and three to go. On the option, here's Hall. 
he'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Rodgers on first down. That's to the right side. He's got pull. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Nice play here by Malachi Corley, the young rookie wide receiver. And something we're going to continue to see out of him as the rest of the year unfolds is, Mike, he has such a knack for turning short throws into long gains. And his ability to be a ball carrier after the catch, it's really what separates certain guys from others in this league. And for a young player to have that innate kind of sense to be a ball carrier, find any ways you can get him the ball. Screens, smokes, bubbles, doesn't matter. Get the ball in his hands, and usually good things happen. Second down, Rodgers. This one caught by Lazar. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules, and the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. They'll come up here first and 10. Rodgers going up top again. Right back to William. Picked again. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. He'll come to the line now on second and two. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. We'll give up the middle with Hall. Mm. And the Jets are going to have what looks to be a first and goal. He'll take this down to the 10-yard line. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. They'll have to go the full 10 yards. It's first and goal. To throw is Rodgers. He's got it at the three. Second and goal. He'll try to run it with Hall. And this one's blown up. It's back at the five-yard line now. This ball carrier just didn't want to go down. And this defense, they had to throw everything they had at him, Mike. He just kept fighting and fighting. But finally, when they were able to get him on the ground, they were able to do it for a loss. Last drive yielded three. They'd like more. Let's see what happens on third and goal. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Mike Williams, the one he was looking for. And now they're faced with a fourth and goal. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. 
It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Ty Chandler now to bring it back. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Vikings offense ready to take over for their second possession. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Off the bootleg, here's Darnold. He'll let this go deep for Jefferson. There's a saying on defense, Mike, tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I can promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. He'll look underneath here for Jones. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. What can they do here on third down and seven? From the shotgun, here's Darnold. Ball is caught on the sideline and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. A gain of 16, good enough for a first down. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. And he is taken down. A big gain on that one. Great way for them to end this opening quarter. Here's first and ten. A give to Jones, heading right. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. And this is a great example of why it's so important on defense to sprint to the ball. His ability to make people miss is hard for one guy to get him on the ground. But when you can get everybody to the ball, eventually you can take him down. And in this case, they do it for a loss. Throwing, Darnold. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And he's into the end zone. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Minnesota. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Gibson now on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line so now the Jets offense ready to take over once more the deficit is 8 as this drive begins with first and 10 Rodgers. The 
get this complete. It's Williams over the middle. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Nice catch there by Williams, and he's able to move the chains. And while he finds himself now in a new uniform here in New York, it's just nice to see him able to return from injury just a year ago. He was signed by the Jets this offseason after coming off a really good run with the Chargers. He's already making his presence felt. He picks up a fresh set of downs. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Here's Hall. He'll get this ahead for about three. Cameron Bynum up from the secondary to make the play. Rodgers to throw. Oh, wide open. It is Williams for the grab. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. the shotgun it's a rock that's a short one taken in by Conklin this is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch but give credit to the defense once that ball was caught they were on him quickly and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch they need six for the touchdown second and goal now it's a bootleg with Rodgers He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. you got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and it also gives some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. Third and goal for Aaron Rodgers. He'll try it. And he gets out wide. He'll go to the end zone. Aaron Rodgers. Touchdown, New York. That is a heartbreaker for the defense. They took away what he wanted to do in the air, Greg, but that scrambling ability gets him to the end zone for the touchdown. And the reason he was able to take advantage with his legs here, Mike, is he made a fast decision realizing there was nowhere to go with the ball. The amount of guys the defense had in coverage took those passes away. He tucked the ball down, took advantage of the space, and he was able to take it all the way. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Powell now to bring it back. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Vikings offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. Set to go now on first and 10. Play fake to Jones, and now Darnold. Short pass taken in by the tight end. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. They'll go play action with Darnold. That's caught by Jones out of the backfield. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. 
If you want to play running back in today's modern NFL, Mike, you have to be able to be a viable weapon in the passing game. It's all about touches. It's not just about handoffs anymore. It's how many different ways can we get the ball in your hands. To throw on first down is Darnold. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. You hear quarterback coaches say it all the time. Let's get our guy easy completions. Well, that falls certainly into that category, Mike. But when you fail to connect on those, it just ends up being a wasted down. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. We spend so much time talking about quarterbacks and the special plays that they can make. And of course, that's a big part of playing quarterback in the NFL. But also, can you avoid the bad plays? Do you know when the fight is over and live to play another down? Don't take that sack. Throw the ball away, get back out there on third down, and give yourself a chance. He'll try to run for it. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. And a fair catch is taken. It is just inside the 20-yard line. The Jets offense ready to get back at it. The deficit is won as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They will run it over center with Hall. And he'll work ahead for about five to the 25. Here now, third and five. From the gun, Rodgers. Open man is Lazard. He's got it. A pickup of 15 in the air. Good for a Jets first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. On the run, here's Hall. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. I'll tell you what, Mike. This is a guy that you do not want to have to tackle in space. I mean, the footwork, the agility, the ability to go side to side and then still have the burst and explosiveness to pick up big yards. I mean, this guy is a handful. On the ground, it's a Bonaconda. And they'll take this down inside the 35. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy. But if you could have two or three that can all come in and contribute on the ground, that's the goal, and we're seeing it here. On the give, it's Hall. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge, but 
Probably going to be a loss of a yard here. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Skinned and 11. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. He's got his man, complete to Wilson. A gain there of 10 yards. And the Jets have a first down. They give to Hall. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. They'll go again with Hall. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. Third and short yardage, it's Rodgers. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. If he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch, they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about. And we're going to see what it looks like. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the Jets are going to move out in front. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Powell now to bring it back. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. First and 10. Working out of the gun. It's Darnold. There's Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. This is such a critical moment in the game, that middle four minutes, the final two minutes of the first half, and then the possession to come out of the halftime break. So maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical. See if you can get a drive starter. See if you can get an easy completion to kickstart a two-minute mode. And that's what they got here. Now they got to see if they can go down and steal some points. 
So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. They'll come up to third and three. Darnold to the air once more. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Here's Ryan right now. He'll punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and take. The Jets offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line. So a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and 10. Rodgers now. That's to the running back, Reese Hall. And he's taken down up past the 35. I really like this play design. They're trying to match up the speed of this running back versus the linebacker in coverage, but do it vertical down the middle of the field. And when he can get that matchup, they feel that's advantage offense. So, first and ten here now at the 38. Here's Rodgers. He'll find Hall out of the backfield. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Jets are going to use their third and final timeout here as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Throwing Rodgers. Back to the right side. He's got Corley. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with points. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. This is still anyone's ball game at this point. The difference is just two as we begin quarter number three. Powell now to bring it back. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Vikings offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They trail by two. And we'll start this drive with first and ten. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. That's caught downfield by Jefferson. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. It's not a coincidence, Mike, that the best offenses in the NFL are all excellent at yards after the catch. It's a combination of a few things. A highly accurate quarterback and the ability of the scheme to get open players in open space. Once you do that, the rest is up to them. Now a handoff, Jones, and he'll be taken down. Well, that certainly didn't take long. Two back-to-back -back really nice plays. This one on the ground, and 
This is the idea, Mike. Every offense in the league, you want to strike fast. You want to have big, explosive plays. Now you find yourself here first and goal. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Vikings. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Gibson now on the return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Jets offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here, and they'll begin it with first and ten. Rodgers a throw left side taken in by Wilson here's a second and three forthcoming On the handoff, it's Hall running right. And he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. Stephon Gilmore up to make the play. Now a third and two. Roger to throw. That's caught. Left side, it's complete. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. The defense was right there, but a gain of two. Good enough for the first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one, -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a... And they're going to get to him and take him down taken back to the other side of midfield and now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth each team trading blows trying to establish control over the other nice chunk play on the previous play the defense responds back with a sack and we're going to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds on the shotgun it's a rock and they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down The throw is Rodgers. They'll set up the screen to Hall. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. On fourth down, here comes the veteran Thomas Morstan to punt. Brandon Powell, the veteran, back to take this one back. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. 
out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over. This will begin at their own 13-yard line. So work to do starting with this first and 10. They'll put Addison in motion. They'll look to hit him with a jet sweep here to begin this drive. Can he get away? No! He's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Throwing. Darnold. He runs with it. And he will slide to a halt, but he does have the first down. Taking advantage of the room to run, a gain of 19 on the scramble. Anytime a defense decides to blitz, Mike, they're always rolling the dice, and we see why. You bring that extra defender, and if he doesn't get home, that quarterback not only can escape the pocket, but there is a lot of room to operate downfield. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. A run. It's Jones. He makes one man miss, but stopped quickly as they hold him to a gain of one. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Now, Darnold. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points, but after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. A fair catch called for and made, but hold everything. There is a flag backed by the kicker it may very well give them new life. The coming up now for first and ten. Play fake to Jones, now Darnold. Short pass taken in by the tight end. Here's second and six. In motion, it's Jefferson. Up the middle, here's Jones. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. Darnold to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And he's gonna get there. He got the first down, not by a whole lot, but that'll keep this drive rolling. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down.
Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Here's Darnold. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Ten yards on the scramble there, and he picks up the first down. And that just can't happen. Third and long, just understand, contain the ball, rally tackle, just get the ball carrier on the ground. Not only not able to get to him inside the pocket, he's able to extend the play with his legs and pick up a huge, long first down. That is caught at the three. And he's in. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Minnesota. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. You know, Mike, at this level, not all touchdowns are created equal. There are some plays that result in touchdowns. And then there are touchdown strikes. And this one is the latter. I mean, you talk about a confidently thrown ball on the money downfield. It doesn't get a lot better than this. And his receiver is able to take it in for six. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Davis now to return it he'll get across the 20 mark him down at the 23 yard line the visitors offense about ready to take over once more the deficit is double digits so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten They'll send a tight end in motion. We're going to start this drive on the ground. It's Hall. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight. Setting up second and short. Another run here with Hall. And he'll have enough to move the chains. He'll take this forward for about three yards. From the 34 now, it's first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Going left side, and it's taken in by Williams. They get 25 on that connection. Good for a Jets first down. From the gun, Rodgers. Right back to Williams. They connect again. And they're going to get this ball down to the 20-yard line. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage. And so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Rodgers on first down. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal. He's out of bounds at the 8-yard line. 13 yards on that one. Move the sticks. It's a first down. So these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. Back with more of the NFL International Series after this.
Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. To the air once more, it's Rodgers. That's hauled in at the two. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. Penalty yards marched off, and they'll try it again on second and goal. Again, it's Rodgers. Over the top, he's got it. Alan Lazar. Touchdown, New York. Now Zerline for the extra point. He's got it. And the Jets have cut the deficit to five. Things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Chandler now to return it. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do. The lead is five as they're going to start with this first down. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, with great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. On second down, it's Darnold got a man that's sure field 17 yards on that play it'll be a vikings first down a lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead but at the same time i like that they haven't gone super conservative just hand off right hand off left and it just turns into tack no chance at all he'll go down the offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. What do the coaches say? Just play the next play, and that's exactly what they did. This is Jones, and he's going to be stopped in his tracks. to lose a couple of yards on that one. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? On third and long, here's Darnold. That's caught by Jones out of the backfield. It'll be a punt coming from the Vikings. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. And no run back here. Fair catch taken at the 17-yard line. The visitors' offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll try to establish some tempo 
as they start this one with first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Second down and eight. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Pass caught right side by Conklin. And he'll be taken down up past the 40-yard line. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments in fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. First down for Aaron. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So... It's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here. And it led to a big game. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? They'll stick to the ground. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. He'll come to the line now on second and two. They'll run here. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain. That is a complete safety play. They'll run. Moving this to the 36-yard line will give them enough. Chains will move. It's a first down. Rodgers. Back to the left side. Pulled in by Conklin. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Here in the fourth quarter, you just can't predict how many possessions you have left for the remainder of the game. So you can't let any of them go to waste. So far, this has been a fantastic drive. It's a drive that they desperately needed. They continue to throw the ball like that. They got a chance to take a late lead here in the fourth quarter. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. A tight end in motion now. Here's the rookie from Wisconsin. It's Braylon Allen. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. Great job here by this linebacker, Mike. There was no reading and reacting. 
from the snap he was attacking. Meets the ball carrier right at the line of scrimmage. No gain. He'll try to run this one in. But forward for about three. It's second down. Go with him again. Ah, good blocking, and he's in. Israel Abanaconda. Touchdown, Jets. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? And that is incomplete they get the touchdown take the lead but it remains a one-point game so now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown Time to kick it back the other way. Chandler now to return it. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The home team's offense getting set to get back to work. They'll do so with first and 10. to begin this drive and a short pickup past the 25. Here's a second and nine. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. They'll put Addison in motion. They'll try and run for the first down with Jones. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Again, it's Jones. who will get this down to the 44, but that's about it. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. First down, Minnesota. Now, Darnold. Quick throw, taken in. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down.
They'll drop to throw. Quick hitting slant there. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. Now, second and four. To throw again is Darnold. The throw here is complete. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. Here's Darnold again. Boom! And they'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. They look to run with Jones. And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score, and Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, Give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Trying to push the pile forward. He didn't even get to the one-yard line. They stop him short. No gain. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Gibson now on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready for this next possession. They'll begin with first and 10. the shotgun it's a rock a throw left side taken in by Corley the visitors offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession they'll begin with terrific starting field position it gets going with first and ten Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments of the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. The second down throw is incomplete. So now after that last incompletion, this brings up a critical third down. But remember, Mike, they don't have to get it all here in one play. They've got third and fourth down. There's no punt. There's no kick. They've got to treat this like it's their final possession of the game. And they've got two downs to extend this drive. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. They desperately needed that one, Mike. Down here late, they've only got a few remaining snaps to go, and it puts all of the pressure of the game now on fourth down. Let's see what play call they have in a gotta-have-it situation. And right now, this quarterback needs to make his best throw in the biggest moment of the game. 
And that is incomplete. They had their chance. He took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on downs. And that stop right there will do it. Even though they have two timeouts remaining, there's just not enough time on the clock to get another attempt. What a huge stop with the game on the line. And that will all but end this game. Now a timeout, Jets. It'll be their second. The home team's offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll have a short field looking to build on the lead. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation, defense powerless to stop. And that should just about do it. The last two runs each lost a yard. Now they're looking at a third and 12. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. So long from London.